Yes. Well, it could be another week before we know if a casino is coming to Kenosha. Governor Walker says there are lots of documents to review and he may hire a consulting firm to help him sort through all that information. Any delay is frustrating for the Potawatomi tribe. They fiercely oppose a new casino. They talk with our Charles Benson in a today's TMJ4 exclusive. Charles. Well, the Potawatomi want the governor to make a decision now. Employees here are nervous about their jobs. But while they wait, the tribe's position hasn't changed. It's still no. We have had a long-standing uh, positive relationship with the Menominee and on any number of issues. On this uh, application, we disagree. Jeff Crawford has poured through the Menominee offer and doesn't like what he sees. As the Attorney General for the Potawatomi, it's his job to find the devil in the details. There's not enough cash in this market. It's saturated. They can't keep their promises. The Menominee are promising thousands of jobs and millions of dollars to the state by building an $800 million Hard Rock Casino with the Florida Seminole Tribe. The Potawatomi worry that a nearby casino could cannibalize jobs and money. Some might argue, isn't that what can happen with a free market competition? From our perspective, this is not free competition. This is a heavily regulated industry. It is a government-to-government uh, -government relationship we have with the state of uh, Wisconsin through our compacts. Compacts, or written agreements, the Menominee argue, gives the governor the consent he was looking for from all the tribes. Do you buy that argument? You know, that's, uh, you know, creative. Uh, it's totally false. Now, the Menominee believe that the negative impact here in Milwaukee on the casino will be minimal and just for a few years and they'll cover those losses. But they believe over time, both casinos will grow as the market grows. We're live on Canal Street. Charles Benson, today's TV4. All right. Thank you, Charles.